I used to be pretty big on writing new words down in my vocabulary notebooks. Writing things down admittedly does wonders for my memory, but as time goes by, it becomes a real hassle to review my enormous, constantly growing vocabulary list. I tried digital note taking, but to no avail, as most note taking apps don't have built in spaced repetition algorithms. If you don't know what spaced repetition is, it's an evidence based, powerful learning technique in which you space out your learning, increasing the retention of the new knowledge. For instance, if you learn a new word today, you want to review it tomorrow, three days later, seven days later, and a month later to make sure that you're not going to forget it. And guys, after years of thinking about how to build a perfect system for capturing new words, uh, making learning and reviewing new words more enjoyable, I have found a solution with Anki, which is a flashcard creation application with built-in spaced repetition algorithms. Let's take a look at the flashcard that I have created after watching the first season of How I Met Your Mother. I enjoy learning English through watching movies as I believe this is one of the most effective way to speak English more naturally and gain insight into a culture. When I watch an episode, I would pick out all the collocations, phrasal verbs, and idioms that I want to learn and that I want to create flashcards with them on Anki. Anki has different card types, but the one I'm using for my cards is close deletion. Basically, the phrase that I want to learn will be hidden and I will need to type out the answer. In case I don't remember it, I could use hint. To bring my flashcards to life, I use a separate audio for the phrase Settle down. Another audio for the whole sentence I'm so happy for Marshall, I really am. I just couldn't imagine settling down right now. Which is an extract from the movie. I also include a scene in which the character says that phrase and an explanation from Oxford Dictionary. Learning with context like this not only makes new words stick, but also allows you to use them with awareness of style and collocation, a very important criterion in IELTS speaking. Let me show you guys how I study my flashcards. Step number one, tie out my answer. Step number two, read the whole sentence aloud. Doing this is beneficial for your pronunciation. Step number three, read all the examples extra examples or click context and watch how native speakers use that phrase in context who once had a thing for louisa himself here i had a thing for the united states that's y'all i've always had a thing for ferns people have always had a thing for unsolved mysteries we can't stop doing so will help you deeply understand that phrase earlier in the video i said that anki is powerful because of its building space repetition algorithms its power lies in these buttons you want to press again or one on your keyboard if you don't remember the word and want to see this card again in 15 minutes. Press hard or two on your keyboard if it takes you more than 10 seconds to recall the word. Press good or three on your keyboard if you can recall the word immediately. Unless the word is very easy for you, don't press easy. Depending on which button you press, your cards will be moved to a further point in the future. Anki has definitely changed the way that I learn new vocabulary. I've been using Anki for more than one year now, spending half an hour on the app, studying 80 words on average. If you're struggling to remember new words like I did in the past, check out Anki and you won't be disappointed. Uh, this video is not sponsored by Anki, so I'm really doing it out of the goodness of my heart. If you're interested in learning more about Anki and how to use the app to learn a new language, leave a comment down below and I'll consider making more videos about this topic. As always guys, stay happy and stay motivated. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!